right, so in the gym, shooting with Gymshark. I can't even talk to you guys about what it's about, but it's it's a campaign coming up. My no shave November is being cut short. These, this was a solid beard. It wasn't a solid beard, but we're gonna go trim it up. My man Eli came in, so before we start shooting with these guys, they're getting it all set up. You gotta go trim this. It's coming, 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 and coming, 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 and. You look like five years younger. I know. Are you happy about that? I don't know. I'm really torn. I really wanted. I really wanted to keep the mustache, actually. You can grow that. Look at this. Look at the kind of service we get from Eli. If you guys ever are in fitness culture or coming through, make sure you uh, hit up Eli before if you need a cut. Should we put your cell phone number in here? Or just tell you? Yeah. No? Yeah? All right. We're going to put Eli's cell phone number below. If you ever come to fitness culture, you're in Vegas and you need a cut, you can set up time with this man. Oh, I'm a baby now. I haven't had someone tie my shoes since the second grade. I'm not going to lie, it was the sixth grade. <laughs> that was when I learned how. Mom, I officially made it. Dance with the stage. it. All right, we're gonna go eat now. What just what happened? I, what just happened? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently it was a gym shark shoot. I got a call last week like, hey Steve, we just need to use your gym, do some B-roll stuff. Hot damn, that was like a real deal shoot. I didn't have a tan, I had a scruffy little beard. Now I feel naked right now. Be the chicken. Beaver chicken was. Beaver chicken's always good. It's like always such a good place to take people that have never been. So. All right, guys, back in the gym. We had our little film session, and then we did voiceover. Got a lot of cool stuff coming up, but now it's time for a little bit of play. And by play, I mean checking out and playing with my new Evolve skateboard. There's a bunch of different modes. I've been keeping it in eco mode. We're gonna go to GT mode. That's the fastest. <laughs> It says only, only for professionals. <laughs> All right, that had a little bit more juice than I was ready for. Whoa! <laughs> I hit 10 miles an hour right there. That's pretty quick. That is fast. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you would be faster than me. On this? Yeah. Oh. Just don't go crashing. So uh, we're we're having a little fun. Of course we should be lifting, but what we're doing instead is we set up a little obstacle course here with the Evolve skateboard, and then I'm gonna go, Alex's gonna go, and then whoever else wants to go, <clears throat> and there'll be a prize for the winner. I know I'm not gonna have the winning time, but I'm gonna go first because no it's gonna be funny if I fail. Ah, don't fall off! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to do that again. <laughs> that was a... Alright. 
Next person, that was miserable. All right, Alex up now. He'll be better. I really hope he crashes. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. He's got to make up some time now. Oh, He's shit. Make up some time. Come on. Excuse me. Oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, placement. See you, squad. Well, that was fun. I'm watching you? your victory you back there. <laughs> Just be careful, okay? We're gonna win that chicken dinner. Come on, for Australia! For all we did it! We did it! Ah, uh, fun and games are all over. Got to go back and actually do some real work. Um, so probably not gonna film a whole lot more. But let's spin back because that's kind of always exciting. Ready? Go. Yo. <laughs> It's been a minute since I've done this. So I just got my Vita Goods scale here. It's a body scale. It's or it's a weight scale body analyzer. So it analyzes body fat, water weight, bone density. You program your height, your age, your activity level. I had another one, but I ended up getting this one just because I feel like it's good to also monitor like body fat stuff. And all it does is send electrical like it's not the most super accurate way, but if you do it over and over and over again, you're gonna get a good consistent baseline and then you can kind of, you know, see where you're going one way or another. So obviously we're trying to gain weight. Um, we're gonna see what I weigh right now. Usually I'm higher body fat wise on these than I am like in the body tank or in the bod pod or in the hydrostatic. 211.8. And it says I'm 18% body fat. So that's, you know, I don't, I don't think I'm 18% body fat. That'd be bad news. But again, I'll kind of be able to judge where if I'm getting leaner or if I'm getting chunkier based off that. Oh, it's been a long day. Long day. I hate days that are long but not productive. I didn't feel like today was super productive. I lost in the skateboarding competition. We, we did film with Gymshark, but that was good. But I have a million things to do. And we're leaving to England in four days this Saturday. I got my house to clean. I got to get up a tree. I got to put away Thanksgiving stuff. I have a whole long list of things to do. So I feel like I'm failing at life right now. But I need a schedule. Do you guys have any good things? What do you guys do out there? I need to set up like a, a schedule in my life. And I know I've been saying that shit for forever and it pisses me off, but I feel like I don't have a schedule 
I just want to punch a baby right now because my life is all over the place. So I'm not going to really punch a baby. I love kids. But that's how frustrated I am. At the end of the day, I'm like, oh, I didn't get anything done because I'm not following a schedule. I need to have a routine. So anyhow, that's my frustration. That's my rant for today. You win some days and you lose some days. And I definitely felt like I lost today. And that scale telling me I was 18% body fat actually didn't help any of this on the inside. But again, I know it's not that high. It's just good to kind of get a... Yeah, I'm going to throw this scale, if you guys want to check it out, I'm going to throw the scale in the link too. But you know the only thing that's going to make me happy right now is going and sitting in the hot tub. Let's go see what the hot tub temperature is. The vlog has been very all over the place. But if my hot tub's warm enough... Oh, it's 100 degrees. I'm going to go sit in the hot tub. Let's go! Hot tub party, hot tub party, I need a, I need a towel, I need a towel, my house is a mess, I just want to sit in a hot tub. <sighs> Should I get a glass of wine too? No. It's not White Girl Wednesday. <laughs> well actually, when you guys see this, it is Wednesday. Oh. Whoa, you can hear it. It's gonna blow. Whoa! You know what? Money can't buy you guys happiness, it really can't. Money can't buy you happiness. Like, I'm not saying I'm rich, but I can afford a decent house, a fireplace, and a pool. What, what it can afford you, though, is some relaxation when you're feeling really super upset about things. So, if I didn't have this, and I was living in L.A., and I just had a tiny studio apartment, which is pretty much what this house costs, is a studio apartment in L.A., I'd be so much more unhappy right now. But really, let me get back to that. I think what I've learned, Lewis House talked about this today. I think that what I've learned is, yeah, money, money is, is good to get, things don't provide happiness, people do. So hanging out with family, hanging out, doing the, the pool party we had here a week ago for my nieces and nephews, doing Thanksgiving, all that money allows you to do, I think is um, help make those experiences better because it provides a place for all of my family to come and to hang out and to do that. Um, but really at the end of the day, like if you're just making yourself happy from material thing to material thing, and I know I, that me saying that maybe to some of you sounds like the, you know, the, the pot calling the kettle black, like, oh, Steve, you say that because you have that. Um, I'm not any, you know, like you're, I'm not any happier when I'm, you can have the nicest, biggest house and the nicest cars, but it, the house is still going to be empty unless there's people here that you're sharing it with. And those cars you know, like they, they don't really, so again, I think I sometimes, you know, maybe come across as materialistic, I don't know, but hopefully, um, I just wanna make sure I tell you guys that that's not what it's all about. Um, and if I ever do come across like that, it's usually because A, those things tend to get more views, like, oh, clickbait this, clickbait that. But at the end of the day, like, I'm perfectly happy here living in tiny little Utah in a tiny town here, don't need the big lights of LA, you know, I'm not here showing off, throwing crazy pool parties. I'm here with my nieces swimming in a pool, trying to make people that I love their lives around me better. So that being said, I'm getting in the pool. Oh, that feels good. Lights. Ready for them? And there shall be light. Uh, I love doing that. <sighs> All right. Thanks, guys, for watching this. That was a little rant. Tomorrow's another day. You can see the stain coming off. I know. And the fireplace over there? This backyard's still not finished. I don't have any patio furniture. Spinning, speaking of material things, <laughs> I don't have any patio furniture. So it's just me out here. Probably I spent too much, I spent too much time on social media today and that's probably why I feel icky inside. I hate that feeling of just feeling like, eh. But I'm posting the picture of the fireplace right now. Watch this. Time to relax. YouTube video is finished. Don't forget, guys, to send in your video submissions if you guys want to intro the vlogs. All right? We'll see you guys next time. Peace.